Yo guys, what is up? This is your boy Cheese and welcome to this brand new video here on the channel and today I'm going to talk about Apex Legends and there is a new update actually today on Apex Legends. This is the very first update since the game has been out for a week now. Uh, I've been playing it like crazy, I really do enjoy the game and I'm definitely gonna post more future content about Epic Legends. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done that yet. And if you guys actually subscribe to the channel by now, I wanna ask you guys, uh, what do you think? Epic Legends or Fortnite? What is your favorite game? Let me know down below in the comments if you do have to choose for which game are you choosing and also I wanna know why. Uh, I noticed that this game is really fitting my playstyle more than Fortnite was, so that's why I'm uh, like really enjoying it uh, from the first second I'm in. Uh, playing this on the PlayStation, uh, I was always playing Fortnite on a PC, now I'm playing this on the PlayStation because uh, I think it's more enjoyable, uh, at least for me as a uh, die-hard PlayStation fan. But we're here to actually talk about the new updates. What the game developers actually said was a new update has gone live in Epic Legends on the 13th of February on the PC, PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, addressing some of the game early launch issues and adding some new content already. So indeed the game did have some launch issues, some error and things like that that are actually gonna be fixed. I played the game on the PC and on the PlayStation 4 and I noticed that on the PC I did have more issues trying to join the servers that I had on the PlayStation 4. They also came with some cool information like released on the February the 4th, it took Epic Legends only a week to hit 25 million unique players with over 2 million current. So that is really incredible, 25 million players uh, for Epic Legends and uh, I think this could be a really big arrival of uh, Fortnite actually. Uh, actually Fortnite didn't have that much competition for I believe one and a half or two years. Uh, right now it's actually getting some competition from Epic Legends and I really do like some competition in the scene. Yup, Epic Legends. Not that we switch around with Epic Games. What the game actually said was that firstly the team is focusing on improving the stability and general performance as players have been experiencing some crashes and in-game lag issues. Uh, I did have some in-game lag issues but that was actually on the PC and there were a lot of lag issues. I didn't have lag issues on my PlayStation 4 but of course PlayStation 4 is not running on that much. Uh, frames per second, so uh, we don't really see the lack that often as well. There is much much more described on their side But what I'm going to talk about with you guys right now is of course what the patch notes are This update is actually made to make the game a whole lot better So it's stability bugs performance and QOL Which I don't know what that actually means. Let me know down below in the comments or I will google it myself but there is also a Valentine's update. Valentine's Day is going to be uh, a very special thing in Apex Legends because they're going to be adding things into the game, especially for Valentine's Day. I know a lot of gamers are actually going to sit in a corner and cry on Valentine's Day, but right now you don't have to. You can just play Apex Legends because they are going to share you up. The thing that's going to be added is Live Die Live. Uh, which is a banner bash, so you have to revive a member of your squad between 2.13 or 2.19 to earn this limited time badge. Uh, also another thing that's going to be added is the uh, Valentine cosmetic items to the store. Uh, they will be live and available in the store starting from 2.13 until 2.19. And then they are gone after that. So you can play between the 13th and the 19th of February to actually complete that specific task for this banner batch. If you actually want the Valentine's Day cosmetics, which everybody wants because there's a new thing and everybody always wants the new goddamn things. So that's what you gotta do right then is go to the store and buy it. That's gotta be the thing. That was just so far about the Valentine's Day update. 
Uh, there are actually just two things. It's the Better Batch and the Cosmetics that will be added to the store. And I'm going to talk about all the things that are actually going to update as well. For the stability, the bugs and performance. So various improvements and tweak to the UE. Uh, extended timeout that was cased players with slower hard drivers to crash. So like I said, I had the problem on my PC and not on my PlayStation 4, which could be the reason why. Addressed a number of client and server stability issues, fixed an exploit where you could keep duplicating items in the inventory. I wish I knew that. Um, damn it, that's too late now. Addressed a number of stability and performance issues. They also fixed an issue where people would actually see a gray screen in the lobby when it was the first time for them connecting. Uh, haven't seen anyone uh, tweeting about that or anything, so I don't think it was that big uh, of a problem. Fixed issue where friends list showed all your friends as offline and able to play. I did witness that I was locked in on my PC and PlayStation 4 for my friends, which was a weird thing, but that was actually happening to me. Maybe I should actually contact them about it. A shortened duration of Blood Hunt, I of the Allfather clones to remain in the world by one second. And that was everything they're gonna fix about. Stability, bugs, performance, and QOL. Or can I just say cool? I have no clue honestly. There are some more changes that are gonna be taking place as well. There's something new with gear as well. There's something called King's Canyon which has changed and something with PlayStation Plus playback. So we're gonna start off with talking about gear. Oxstar now displays a grenade warning indicator which is really really dope. Great job. I would really like to see that in the game and now it is. Perfect. So the King's Canyon uh, addressed a number of bugs with the map geo like holes you could fall through and areas that players could get stuck plus a bunch of other polish issues. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> I can't imagine it being really frustrating if you're like the last squad alive. And you are like literally glitching out somewhere or falling through the map and dying. And the very last one which is called PlayStation Plus Play Pack. So the PPP I would like to say. Uh, this is also something that counts for me. Art updated for the PlayStation. So the PPPP. Uh, to the flatline skin and banner card. And change the names to Deep Blue. This will affect... All players that already have been rewarded the skins as well. We still have a lot of work to do and we hear those frustrations by disconnections and crashes and are working to improve stability performance and as well provide more visibility uh, for everyone. So I really do appreciate all the work they put in. I think they're all called the Extro. Dextro uh, is the name of the developers that are actually putting out this game. Also, they actually came with Titanfall. Uh, if you guys don't know the game uh, Titanfall, I have been playing it on the channel as well. I think it was a great success and people would really like Titanfall 1 and 2 and they were waiting, actually waiting for a Titanfall 3 and this is the Titanfall 3 that they didn't expect but really, really enjoy. So far I do think that the game runs really smoothly and is really stable, especially on the consoles, on the PlayStation and on the Xbox and on the PC side. Maybe it's leaking a little bit on that side, but I do think everything looks really nicely, it plays nicely, it really feels like a good finished game and that's what I think is most important. Of course. When someone has a game and it actually launches and it's an online game, there are always things that need to be fixed uh, which you don't always have with a game which is not online. By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to do it right now. If you do like these update videos, like these videos about Epic Legends and about all the things that are new uh, to the game because I will be covering them all up here on the channel, playing it as well uh, as making gameplay videos for you guys and also doing some live streams on the game. I uh, hope you guys are really going to enjoy that. Also, let me know down below in the comments what I could do in this game. And if you like it, 
be sure to give the video a big thumbs up uh, i will see you guys in uh, the next video the end of this gameplay you won't see it in this one but you will actually see it in the next video and it's gonna be a nice ending uh, i promise you I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything am i no i'm not I i'm like don't expect me to win okay <laughs> but oh i hope you guys just check out the next one this was cheese see you guys on the channel peace